Hola, como estas? Hi guys, today we're gonna do an unboxing of the Surface Book 2. Let's go and take a look, baby. Boom shakalaka. Hi guys, this is the Micro Surface Book 2 15 inch. It comes with Windows 10 Pro. Intel i7 processor, NVIDIA GeForce GTX 1060, 6 gigs, a one terabyte SSD, and made in China. This is a 4.2 pound laptop. Okay, what else does come with it? Quick start guide and adapter it's rated at 15 volts 6.33 amps which is 80 watts of power uh, if you multiply 15 volts by 6.33 about there and also it's got 5 volts 1.5 amps usb port so you can also charge your phone um, usb peripherals uh, it's got a nice touchpad here it's got this little thing so you could just photo, photo, pop it out it is magnetic there's a window symbol here for Looking at yourself. Alright, there's a headphone jack here. USB type C. This is some kind of surface connect. Alright, there is a button here. I'm not sure if that's a power button. There's volume keys. On the left, you got two USB 3.0 ports, I think. And you have a, a full-size SD card slot. Alright, so it's got these nice metal ridges here. So I guess you can open so it goes all the way down to about 45 degree angle and then it sort of gets stuck let me go ahead and power on the device power button up here all right starting up okay so it is touch screen right the yeah, touch screen yeah, touch screen wow <laughs> hi there i'm cortana and i'm here to help a little sign in here a touch of wi-fi there and we'll have your pc ready for all you plan to do you can use your voice or the keyboard along the way. And if you'd like me to stay quiet, you can just mute your PC. If you need an assistive screen reader, press the Windows, Control, and Enter keys at the same time to enable narrator. Okay, enough intro. Let's dig in. Hi, right, I'm going to just go through the setup process here. Let me add a layout. Which language do you want to use for your so I'm going to go ahead and Korean, Korean keyboard because I need the Korean keyboard to talk to my Korean peeps. And yeah, you do have to buy the Surface Pen Stylus separately. So I bought this. This is the whole point of using the Surface Book is so you can use uh, the stylus here. So let me go ahead and unbox this real quick, quick for you guys. All right, guys, so this is the stylus. There's an LED there that's blinking. It's got some control buttons here and clickable, clickable. All right, let me see if I can use this. Yes, works great. And also you can attach the pen to the side here or here. So that's really cool that the pen attaches automatically. All right, there is also facial recognition. Yeah, I forgot to tell you guys, there is a camera in front also. So front camera and back camera. So let me go ahead and undo the tablet. So there is a button to take it out. So I'm going to hit that. All right, so once I press that button, it comes off real easily. And then to put it back, just do that. And that's it. Now it's in sync. Oh, can I put it the other way too? Let me see. Can I put it like this? So I can put it in backwards and use it like that. Wow. And now I can have it set up at a different angle, sort of like that. Wow, that is really cool. That is really cool. So I'm going to go ahead and charge this thing. So the Surface Connect is really cool. It's magnetic. This is your AC charger that just connects. So I'm really excited about this. Um, one of the main reasons I got this, wow, it automatically brings up all the photos I took as um, I use as a background. So one of the biggest reasons I got this because I wanted to edit videos on the go, all right? And something with a longer battery life. 
And one of the things that I wanted to do was be able to edit videos on the go without a mouse or without a keyboard. And the pen makes it perfect if I want to cut the movies, especially if I'm in the car and, you know, sometimes if I'm in a location where it's sort of hard to use a keyboard, I hate using the touchpad. I have to have a dedicated mouse for editing, but this really solves it. And I did a lot of research. This is the top of the line. So I'm going to be able to edit, you know, my 4K videos on the go more easily. Now, let me go ahead and install Premiere and go play with it for a little bit. Let me go ahead and edit some videos real quick and see if this will actually work out for me. If not, I'll probably return it. So I'll be back. Hey, puppy. Hey, hey. I love the fact that um, now I can edit videos and stay closer to my dog. Because a lot of times I'm working downstairs and I never get to see my dog, but you know, she can calm me and relax me while I work. Okay guys, it's actually been um, 24 hours since um, I've been playing with it. I ran into a few problems. Uh, one of the problems uh, was that uh, Premiere Pro would keep crashing, but it was because my Premiere was set to, I'll show you here. I had it set to OpenCL and that made it crash. But once set to CUDA, it works just fine. Um, So I actually reinstalled the whole thing and I went through this whole thing, but I figured that out. So this is actually a 4K video I made, my last video on the ice axe, black diamond ice axe. So I edit the whole video. This is the drone footage uh, from Mavic 2 Pro, which is H.265 and very intensive in terms of you know, being able to edit and stuff. Now you will see it, it's just playing fine, but I actually did have to, I actually did have to render out some of this stuff before I could, I could actually edit it. So with the Mavic 2 Pro, even on my desktop, I have trouble. So I'm not going to blame the Surface Pro. Um, the GoPro footage 4K worked out Safe just fine. A nice cool tool like this. That you can use as a weapon and also and you can see working fine you don't you don't actually have to render it out but even rendering not rendering out it will work just fine here's when i added some color editing here and you'll see this will stutter a little now it's working fine here now it's working good yeah you'll you'll see it'll stutter a little bit all right for minor color grading it's gonna work out just fine, in my opinion. Um, also, like the color dials are awesome, especially the color wheels. With the mouse, I mean, I can do it too, but I just feel like it's a lot more exact with this. It's so much easier. I feel like that's the beauty of the Surface, the Surface series. I mean, even the Surface Pro. Or, um, so this is really nice when color grading and stuff. I also don't use the keyboard when I'm editing, for example, on my bed because the screen's so much closer to me like this and I, I just use it actually in this position. And this is with the adapter off. Now, if you do put the adapter on, you will get actually additional performance. Um, that's how this thing's been designed. Let's actually go ahead and I have some GH5 footage that I took that I can show you that I actually didn't use for this video. So you can go ahead and um, just click and drag. Let's go ahead and take a look at this. All right, this is a 4K footage off um, my GH5 and running beautifully. All right, playback very beautiful. Now let's go ahead and add, let's actually bring this layer over. For example, let's say you color graded it. And still works great for GH5. All right, for most Sony stuff, um, GH5, you'll be just fine. The only problem I had was with H.265 from my Mavic 2 Pro, which I also have trouble on um, the desktop. So obviously I find it very fun to use. Obviously I got this for mainly for video editing, but for 4K video editing and color grading, you should be just fine with this. Now this is the top of the line i7, 16 gigs of RAM, and also with one terabyte SSD. You don't need one terabyte, but I would definitely get at least the i7 and the 16 gigs of RAM. I think this this is an excellent way to edit your videos. Now, I'll do another detailed video on editing with Premiere Pro on the Surface Book 2 or Surface Pro um, because they're the same thing. With the stylus, like if I wanted to delete this part, there's no way I can do it because I'm used to the keyboard. So you can bring up this keyboard, which you can get different sizes. Obviously, this is too big. So what I've been doing is I got this mini keyboard and I put it on the side over here. Let's go ahead and edit it real quick. So let's say I want to get rid of this. I can do that. Let's say I want to resize this. I can do that. Also, for zooming in, you can either do this, that, or you could also just use your fingers, which is really nice. 
and let's say I want to cut this part out. I'm going to use a keyboard because I'm used to it and just go like that and oops. Ah, delete. And let's go ahead and zoom in. And let's say I want to cut this. I'm going to hit B and I'm going to do that. So I still think you do need a keyboard, but I do like that they have this mini keyboard and I actually just type with it when I'm using it in tablet mode. So I feel like this is actually a really fun way to do it because with the mouse, I mean, it's pretty fast also, but with a pen, you can just go really directly at it and just shorten it, um, cut it if you want to cut it and then hit V delete. Boom. So the whole point is that it's not faster than editing with a mouse. You need a flat surface. For example, if I'm in my car, it's sort of hard to use my mouse unless I have a flat surface, right? Or maybe I'm in a bus. This is where it's going to come in handy. I would still say the mouse is still faster. The stylus definitely helps you speed up. And also, if you want to um, zoom to the right, you can use two fingers and go like that. Now, if you have an expensive camera, like if you're working with like ProRes files, if you're using like external recorder, which I actually do, I'm actually recording the, on a Ninja Flame, you're not gonna have any problems just because it's less compressed. Um, you're only gonna have problems with compressed files. I mean, I would get something cheaper, but this is the only tablet that actually you could rotate it this way that you can use a stylus that has a GTX 1060. Hi guys, I'm gonna do a quick demonstration of a seven minute 4K video that I'm going to render out at 50 megabits per second. I've got the task manager open to show you how the processor is working here. Okay guys, so it took exactly 11 minutes, 21 seconds. So for a seven minute video, slightly longer, uh, for seven minute video, 11 minutes. My last video I uploaded of the ice axe um, actually took me about 25 minutes for a 20 minute video. Also, let me go ahead and show you how big this file is. So my final file is 2.48 gigabytes. This is a 4K file. Now, if you're working with 1080p, you're not gonna have any problems. It'll probably render uh, like a few minutes real fast. And you know what? This is sort of expensive, but is it worth it? I definitely think it is because I'm always sitting down in front of my desk. I mean, I have a laptop, but I'm always gonna be sitting. This really allows me to even edit videos on my bed easily and quickly on my sofa. And I plan to take it to the beach where Wherever I go, I'll be editing videos. Anyway, have a great day. Hit the thumbs up for me. Adios, cabron.